Hello, my name is Hunter, or Game of Thrones, I mean, I'm stupid, Game of Theories and Lore. Um, basically this is a new channel that I'm making, and I want to talk, just talk about my theories or lore. Most likely, most likely it'll be lore, because I prefer that kind of stuff. And while doing the, all this stuff, I'll be playing Mountain Blade of Clash of Kings. So let's get started. Um, I don't want to spend too much time on the character creator. And I'm not going to read through all the stuff, so I just want to get into it and talk about what this episode is going to be on. Basically, it's going to be just on, it's just an int basically an introduction, and also I'm going to be talking about, uh, about like, bastardy and all, of, and like, the regions where people get their name. And I'm also gonna just going to be going around and showing you the map. So, I want to be able to quit without saving, because I know I'm going to mess up a lot. Um... Sir Hunter. This is my name's Hunter. Uh don't I said that earlier, but Oh no, nope, gotta reset that now. Cause I want two agility. Cause I want um you need agility for looting for some reason. I really don't know why. Um want one for prisoner management, one for iron flesh, maybe two for iron flesh. Another one for looting, I guess. It's good to get loot early on. And I'll be also showing you tips to this game and where you can get um, good stuff from quests and such. Uh, what else is good? Forging is pretty good, but I don't think I'll need that. Um, what's, I guess one for trade. Uh, yeah, I'll put one for forging. No, training. Trainer. And you always want to go, unless you're doing like, trying to be like a character in the game, like. I mean, a character from the books and movies. Go for two-handed. Two-handed is really OP. <clears throat> Alright, I'm gonna make my guy look as funny as possible. And, uh, by the way, if you look like any... If you look like my character, and he looks funny, no offense to you. Oh, it's the hound. <laughs> like the hound. But I don't want to be like the hound. Hmm, I guess I could be, but... Because, you know... Ooh, purple eyes. <laughs> um, um, I'm partially Targaryen. Yes. That's an awesome hair for a Targaryen. <sighs> Where do I got a beard? Not right here. What's the funniest looking beard? No, it looks like it could go with that hair. This doesn't go with that hair. This. That. Yes. <laughs> okay. So let's move on. Don't need to read this. Don't need to do Just basically telling you what you're doing. Kind of describing some of the land. Oh, and by the way, sorry about my mouse. It's a really annoying mouse. It's really loud. But it does work well, so... Until I can get a quieter mouse. Or... I, I, you just kind of have to live with it. I mean, if I'm in a battle like this, I'm going to be clicking a lot. Then... I might cut out the audio and just commentate over. Yeah, that's right, I'm gonna shank you. Oh yeah. Oh. God dang it, I'm gonna not lose this. So I'm, I'm actually... God dang it, if I lose this guy. I think you can block with a dagger. Yep, you can't block with a dagger. Look, no blocking. Just turning around slowly. Can't, you can't see it, but... I'm gonna keep this axe. Oh, no. I don't care about the commentation. I'm just getting in. Just gonna get into this. Wanna wanna start it. Get this get the first episode over with. And I wanna get on with it. <laughs> um. Yep. I just want free gold. This guy gives you gold for some reason. I feel like there's a whole story. I I never done that. All right. So in this game, you start out in the Stormlands. Um. In the Stormlands. It's pretty big. But uh what I wanted to say is uh the bastard name of the Stormlands is Storm. But uh the reason um not the reason, um if you don't know what a bastard is, it's basically um a married man or a woman goes and has an affair and then the child of that affair is the bastard. Alright, so here's the dorm. Um it's in the, the southernmost part of Westeros, and 
their bastard name of their of bastards is Sam. Next is the Reach. It's their bastard. God dang, I, I'm like in my mind. I just want to say something, but I don't know what. <laughs> their bastard name is Flowers. I would hate that that bastard name. Um, this is the Westerlands, somewhere around here, somewhere in this area. <sighs> Stop zooming in. <laughs> uh, like this area, I guess what you could say is the Westerlands, or maybe it's this area. Something like that, somewhere in here. And Lana supports their capital, and Casterly, Lo and Casterly Rock. You hear about that a lot in the, seri in the show, and I'm sure in the books. I haven't read the books yet, but I plan to. Oh, and their pastor name is... The... is... Hill. Oh, and they're, um, they're like, I guess the warden of the Westerlands, and the head of the, all the Westerlands, I guess you could say, are the Lannisters. They're major, major players in what you would call the Game of Thrones. Oh, in the Reach, it's Tyrell, the, the Dorn, it's the Martells, and in the Stormlands, it's the Baratheons. I knew I wanted to say something, I just, besides the Bastardy. Oh, and here? is the Crown's Lands, but as you can see, there's another faction right here. I'll just focus on this one. It's controlled by uh, the Westerlands, I guess, for some reason. I guess because... No, I don't want to spoil anything. I'm not going to say anything. In this episode, there will be spoilers in future episodes, but um, not this one. Um, and in the Riverlands... I, nah, it's not the Riverlands. I thought it was River because it's so similar. It's Waters. The bastard name in the Crown Lands is Waters. My bad. And then the other part of this is Dragonstone, which is led by the faction of Dragonstone. It's um, led by Stannis Baratheon, which is that he wants a claim to the throne. You have to read the books or watch. I'll, I'll explain it eventually, hopefully, if you want, <laughs> for the people who are too lazy to figure out why. All right, so in this area, I think this area, yeah, the crossing down to around here. All the, like, these white ones. Sorry, voice crack. <laughs> uh, this is the Riverlands, but it's under the faction control of the North. So I guess they, uh, they swear allegiance to the North. Which, the North's up here, but we'll get there eventually. Um, the River, the Riverlands, their biggest family is the Tullys. And their bastard name is obviously Rivers, and I thought it was the Crownlands. It was Rivers because it's so similar. Over here, the Iron Islands. Um, their biggest family is the Greyjoys, and their bastard name is Pike. Over here we have the Vale, uh, kind of like a mountainous, mountainous area, and their, their, um, biggest family is the Arons, Arons, something like that, and their bastard name is Stone, because there's so much mountain. Oh, we have Sisterton. Um, I don't know much about the uh, Sister Tenant, the Three Sisters faction. I'm gonna have to read about it, but I don't know much about it. I'm gonna have to read up on it. Oh, and here's the North. Uh, the North is has definitely the most land, but it's also very barren, especially when it's winter. Uh, and their bastard name is obviously Snow, because they probably get the worst of winter, besides up and above the wall, but we won't talk much about the wall this episode. And then we're gonna go across the sea to the... That sounded so nerdy. We're gonna cross the sea and go to the, the free cities. Um, here's Bravos. They, that's pretty big. A pretty main free city that is seen a lot on the show. Oh, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I clicked it. Uh, um, not with my mouse. I have a touchscreen computer and I was wiping some saliva off my computer. Yes, that sounds really stupid, but I was. Um, <laughs> And they don't, in the free cities, there aren't really signs of bastard names. I looked it up before this video, some, and there really aren't any bastard names. So, Bravos, and in Bravos, uh, they have the Iron Bank of Bravos, which is a pretty powerful minor faction, which isn't shown in this game, but in the show, and I'm sure the book, it's a very powerful faction. Here we have Lorith. I really don't know much about Lorith. I just know it's above Bravos with Lorith on an island, with a couple of small little fiefs, fiefs, however you say it, outside of, 
I mean, on the mainland. Next, we have Norvos. I don't know anything about Norvos. So, it's just... Uh, east, southeast of Bravos. And then we have Kahar. I don't know anything about Kahar. <laughs> Man, this is really helpful to you guys. But I'll get, I'll, I'll get the knowledge eventually. Next, we have... I don't even know... Uh, oh, it's Volantis. Ah. Uh, Volantis is talked about a lot in the show. I think mean, more majorly than, let's say, Norvos or Lorith. But uh, I've heard it a couple times. I don't know much about it. Uh, <laughs> next is Lies. I don't know much about Lies either. But I do know, apparently, they got good brothels. Because everyone talks about the brothels and Lies in the show. Other of Dragons. Swear I fucked you once in a pleasure house in Lee. Uh, next we have Tyrosh. Tyrosh, really, I don't know much about either. I don't think they talk, talk, about, talk much about in the show. Either about Mir. They don't talk about the Mir much either. Is it, yeah, it's part of Mir. Um, yeah. Oh, and Pentos. How did I forget Pentos? Pentos is another, like, pr probably Bravos is most powerful. Pentos or Bravos, they're either two most powerful Essos factions. All right. Well, that's enough. Uh, next episode, we'll see what I want to do. I, I don't know what I'm going to do. I might head up to King's Landing and do a little bit up there. Here, here's King's Landing, not, not Duskendale. King's Landing. Uh, or I might stay in the, in the, around where I'm at, which is the Weeping Town, and do a little bit lower here. We'll see. Um, and there, there's even the port of Weeping Town. I'm sure I could find something. Um, Hope you enjoyed. If I missed anything, write in the comments. Yell at me. If you want me to if you want me to say it, I will if you don't know it. Or if you know it and you want to put it in the comments below and be like, oh you're stupid, it's blah blah blah. Um yeah, go ahead and do that. I won't mind. I love getting feedback. It's a lot better than commentless videos. <laughs> Alright, I've been now listen my other YouTube channel name. I've been Game of Theories and Lore, and I hope you enjoyed. Goodbye.